In this video, I'm gonna share with you five ways you can start working faster in Ableton today so you can create music without getting hung up on the ins and outs of the software. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of Ableton, with learning, sound design, and with live performance tips and tricks. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. But without further ado, five ways you can work faster in Ableton starting right now. Tip number one, eliminate distractions. According to a 2012 article called The Myth of Media Multitasking, research consistently confirms that multitasking impairs task performance. So that means make sure that you put your phone and computer on do not disturb mode. If you can, disconnect from the internet, close the door, and really allow yourself to focus on what you're doing. Tip number two, start from a template. Much of the work that we do in Ableton is very similar from time to time, so there's no reason to re-drag in the same files over and over again. Ableton allows you to have one template that will always open when you load Ableton and as many as you want in the user library. And I've got a full video about this above, but my template has a piano sound straight away so I can get to creating without having to do any work. Tip number three, MIDI map the essentials. So within your templates, you're gonna to wanna to include essential mapping. So for me, I wanna be able to turn my piano on and off using just one tap of a button. And I wanna be able to have control of volume using a knob. And I want this to happen every time without me having to redo those mappings. Tip number four, use keyboard shortcuts. Now I have a complete video of this above, but these are my top five time-saving shortcuts. Command option L, is gonna show and hide your details view so you can quickly see your instruments and your audio effects. Command option B is gonna show and hide your browser so you can drag things in easily. Command F is gonna allow you to search for anything that you have in your library. And Command G is going to group anything that you have selected so you can quickly group a track or if you desire, you can group different devices to create audio effects racks, instrument racks, and MIDI effects racks quickly. Tip number five, become an expert, or in other words, practice. There are multiple ways to do things in Ableton Live, so as you spend time in the program, you're just naturally going to become faster, and it's going to allow you to make decisions about which way will actually be the fastest and most efficient way to do it. Now, if you got value out of this video and you want to go deeper, you can actually book a private session with me from the link in the details below. And if you'll have a look on the screen right now, I'm going to leave the videos that I mentioned during this video up here so you can go ahead and check out MIDI mapping, templates, or keyboard shortcuts just by choosing a video to the right. And I will see you next time on LiveKeyboardist.com.